In this video, we are going to attempt to rewrite ceiling of x in terms of floor of x and x. So the ceiling of x is the lowest integer, that's the lowest integer greater than, lowest integer greater than or equal to x, greater than or than, if I can spell it, t-h-a-n, than or equal to x. So if you plug in, 5 into it because the greatest integer uh, because the integer greater than or equal to 5 and the lowest one is going to be 5 the f ceiling of 5 is just going to be 5 and ceiling of 4 point let, instead of 4 point let's try 5.1 5.1 the lowest integer greater than or equal to 5.1 is going to be the next integer up or 6 so now let's look at floor of x this thing is always sometimes denoted as greatest integer function and you sometimes write it like this in textbooks and this thing is greatest integer greatest integer less than or equal to x less than or equal to x so if you have floor if you have floor of 5 you are going to get 5 if you have floor of 5.1, you're going to go down to the nearest integer, which is 5. And in this video, we want to write the ceiling of x, ceiling of x just using two operations, the floor, and we can use plus minus divide multiplication, and you can use x. So how can we do it? Well, for integers, when you plug in 5 to floor or the ceiling, you get the same thing. So you want to get the same thing. When you plug in, when you plug in anything that's not integer, any non-integer, like 5.1, our ceiling function is going to be gr gr greater by 1. So if our floor is 5, our ceiling is going to be 6, if the input is, go is a fraction. So how can, we, how can we modify this? So we have ceiling of x. Let's start with equaling the floor of x. And this thing works out for the integers. For the integers, this thing is good. But for the fractions, it's not going to work out. For fraction, you want to add 1 to it. And for integers, you want to add 0 to it. Huh. So you want to find some expression. You want to find some expression that you can add to this. So you want to find some expression that equals to 1 when it's a, when it's a fraction, when it's non-integer. By fraction, I'm meaning non-integer in this, in this case. And when you want this expression, you want whatever expression you're adding to this to be equal to 0 when you have integer. Hmm. So let's try testing this out. What is, let's say, let's say x is 5.1. What is floor of x? Well, the floor of x is 5. Hmm. When x is 5, what is floor of x? Floor of x is 5. In this case, what's the difference? What's the difference? Let's, let's do it like this. Floor of x minus x. In this case, the difference is exactly 0. For, so this one is for integer. If for a fraction, when you subtract, minus x, you get 5 minus 5.1, which is negative 0.1. So this is what you get when it's non-integer, or I guess for for now we can just make a convention that fraction and non-integer are the same thing in this video. So we have, for integer, this expression. For integer, the expression of floor of x minus x is going to be, is going to be 0. For fraction, it's not going to be 0. It's going to be it's going to be some, some number in between negative 1 and 0. In this case, it's negative 0 0.1. Hey, why don't we just take floor of this? So why don't we take floor of floor of x minus x? Because for non-integer, now you're going to get negative 1. For integer, you're going to get minus x. Since the what's inside was 0, this thing is going to be 0. So we have an expression. We have an expression of floor of floor of x minus x which is going to equal to negative 1 for fraction, and that's going to equal to 0 when it's integer. But we are very close. We don't want something that's a negative 1 when it's fraction. We want it to be 1 when it's fraction. And one way to just ignore that is by subtracting this expression. By subtracting this expression, you're going to be adding 1 when it's fraction, and you're going to be adding 0 when it's integer. So we are done. The ceiling function, the ceiling function in terms of floor function, is going to be floor of x minus 
floor of x minus x and we are done.